Before we put any music into Sibelius, let's learn how to move around the score. When you've got nothing selected you can click on any blank part of your score, and when you click and hold the mouse pointer turns into a hand. I can now pull the piece of paper around just like it's a bit of paper on my desk. You'll also notice at the bottom of the, your score you've got something called the navigator. It's always at the bottom left by default. The navigator shows you a white square which shows you the part of the score you're looking at. Let's add some more bars to our score. Hold down Command B or Control B if you're working on a PC and as you keep holding that down that adds extra bars to your score. Eventually it'll create more pages. Once you've held that down for a few seconds you can drag the white square on the navigator to the right and you'll actually move onto the second page and so on and so forth. If you hold the mouse pointer at the edge of the navigator it will just keep scro scrolling you to that particular side. There are also a bunch of shortcuts for moving around the score. If you've got a full size keyboard you'll see buttons called End which moves you one screen at a time towards the end of your score, Home which moves you one screen at a time towards the start of your score, and Page Up and Page Down which funnily enough move you up and down the page on your score. If you've got a mouse with a wheel on it then you can scroll up and down your score simply by rolling the wheel up and down and if you hold the shift key it'll also move you left and right as you roll the wheel up and down. You can also work in any zoom in Sibelius. There's a drop down menu at the top here which allows you to pick one of the predefined zooms so I'll choose say 50% or I can go in and I can work very close to my score say 150%. There are also shortcuts for zooming in and out of your score. You can hold down Command or Control on a PC and type the plus and minus buttons that are next to the delete key. So minus zooms out and plus zooms in. Last but not least, you might want to view your score in panorama view. This button here is the shortcut for panorama or you can press Shift and P to toggle between page view and panorama view. Once you're in panorama view, you view your score as one long piece of paper so the bars become continuous and you don't have to worry about being put off by losing your place between page turns. It's a very useful mode in, to work in if you're composing or arranging. And that's how to move around your score in Sibelius.